Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a seating chart for round tables. As you can see, we have this we have three tables here, and these are donut charts. Each table seats eight people. You can see that we've got our slices here, right? Our small slice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this particular chart is only sourced by these three columns, C, D, and E. And the way that it sources them is the first particular chart here is just sourced by uh, this particular designation, this table number. Now the way that the donut chart is drawn out with this data is of course we've got our names here for our slices here. The table numbers represent the equal amount of slices here for the donut chart. You can see that all these are one. Even though it's it's table one, they're all equal to one, so that's why we have these equal slices. And the same thing for two. Table two, yes, we have two here, but they're equal slices of two, and that's why it gives you that uniform range. Now, with the seat numbers, we have it sequentially from one to eight, our eight settings. And this gives us our place in the table, right? So it's always, it's going to start from the 12 o'clock. And the, def the default settings is it's going to start from 12 o'clock. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see that Ahmed, it, uh, or uh, Ahmed, comma, Makarand is first. And then you have JL and then Keaton Armstrong. And it kind of goes uh, clockwise, if we think of this as an analog clock, right? So that's how it works. So this is actually pretty easy to create. Let me just get some raw data and we'll start to create something like this. So here I am in a new sheet. Let me just bring over some data. All right, so let's, I have my first name and last name. Let's bring over 25, 24. Let's actually make do this. Let's have it 10 people per table, All right? So I want to bring over probably uh, this amount. Let's see. Yep, up to there. So let me take this, Control C to copy, go to my new, new sheet here. I'll just paste these as values, based as values. All right, so I don't get any of that formatting. And I want the full name. And you, sometimes when you take this from a database of your list of names, you have you separate out full name, last name. Let's give these full name, right? Full, or just uh, I just I'll just put name. Make it easier. And I can use the concatenate function to do this, to combine them together. Press tab to complete that. I want to combine the first name, comma, and let's put a space here, two quotes, and then the last name. Press enter, and double click the fill handle down here to copy that formula down. All right, let's select this column, double click, select this set of columns, double click everything to auto fit. All right. So now I want my table, my table number. I'll just put table number there and I'll put seat number. All right. And so I have table one, which is going to be 10 folks, 10 people. So that's going to be up to this amount. So this one's going to be table one. Press one, control enter to fill it in for all those cells. And I'll press 1 here for seat 1, and I'm going to have seat 1 to 10. That's going to go from 1 to 10 down there. Press Control Enter to stay in that cell. And press the Control and click the little fill handle here, and it's going to draw it out 1 to 10. I think I can actually probably do it without pressing the Control key. Let's see what if that happens. Let's see. No, it only copies 1 all the way down. So when you just I just press 1, Control Enter, press Control. And then you can see that my little cursor turns into a plus plus. So it also tells me that I am sequentially adding that. Now, all I need to do here, if I want to create my own, my first pie, is I need to select this set of uh, data. Here I would go to insert, go to the pie chart, get this pie. Now this really doesn't look like it, right? But that's why we have to change it a little bit make it a little bigger here. So I just need to clean up this data. Now the first thing I need to do is go to select data and actually remove the seat number from the series. Right? If I remove the seat number from the series and click OK, now we have our uniformed uh, pie. And I can get rid of the legend, press delete for that, 
and probably make this pie a little well let's put the names in first right right click add data labels and it default defaults by giving it the data label of one right table one we just want the names though so I'm gonna select the data labels you can see they're all selected now right click right click and go to format data labels and I want to I want to pull the data labels from here so that's gonna be the series name or I can do value from cells but in this case this is the series name whoops not series name category name so now I have my category name deselect value deselect the leader lines I don't need to do that because I'm not pulling it out and I just want to make the pie a little bit bigger I mean, the donut chart slices a little bit bigger now right to fit these names so I'll click on the slices here and let's and to make them bigger you're basically reducing the donut hole size let's kind of move this in maybe 20% uh, 30% let's try 30% let's see how that works uh, too big let's uh, make it maybe 40 uh, 50 let's try 50 yeah 50 looks okay 50 All right uh, let's see maybe 40 40 let's try 44 ah that, that might be okay now also we want to change the names so they kind of look fit a little bit better so let's click on the names and go to the uh, text options and let's see what we got here now we have a resize shape to fit text that's okay we have wrap text let's uh, make the angle maybe a little bit uh, rotate a little bit let's see yeah, so that kind of fit the names in a little bit better. You can see some have all still kind of um, gone over a bit. So let's change it out a little bit more. Yeah, so I've got my names out here a little bit better. They kind of fit a little bit better. And let's change our table number. Let's make this table number one. And also, these different colors, they kind of are distracting. Let's make it all one color. So let's change our design style. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Something nice and uh, plain. Not too many colors. Oh, OK, so it also added a, that design template also added the 10% back. So let me go and click on the label and go to text options. And, oops, click on label label options I believe and get rid of the percentage we don't need the percentage there right so that is our table so in order to create another graph let's close this we need to make this 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 is our seating arrangement this is table two right so these are the next 10 folks you can see if I kind of select those you can see it's counting 10 so I know that's going to be table number two Oops, let me see. This goes all the way down to Tanya Garni. I'm going to select this range. Press number two, control enter to stay in the cell, and take this value. These range of values, control C, select here, control V. And now I also need to select this range. So I need to select this range here. Oops, select this range. And also select the headers, control. I press the control key and select the headers up there because that can lets me select discontiguous cells and go under insert and so another donut well you know what instead of doing it all over again let's delete this what we can do is we can copy this so I just press control D that would duplicate this let's pull it over here all right and I'm gonna change the source of this chart for these cells. Select on my chart here, right click, oops, select my chart here, go to select data, and now table number, I'm gonna have to move that down there, right? So click edit, and the series name, it's picked it right, so it's gonna be uh, sheet uh, D1, and my series value, instead of D2 to D11, it's gonna be D12 to D21. D12 to D21. All right, click OK. And my seat number, I should adjust that too. That's going to be um, not E2 to E11, 
is going to be E12 to E21. E11 to E21. Alright, the sheet, the, the series name is still going to be the same. Seat number, click OK. And my names are going to be different too, so I'm going to edit that. So it's going to be, instead of C2 to C11, it's going to be C12 to C21. C12 to C21. Click OK. Click OK. Whoops. Probably did not add one correctly. Let's see where we had it. Click on that. Go to select data. And let's see where we had our names incorrectly. Edit. So that's C11 to 21. Oh, that's not, it shouldn't be C11. It should be C12. So let's move that. C12, D, D12 to D21, right? It's going to be row 12 to 21. Click OK. Click OK. And now we've got our chart. And so I just named this one Table 2. And for Table 3, we're going to do the same thing. All right. I just need to put 3 here. Select that. Press 3. Control Enter. And do the same thing here. Copy this. Control C. Control V. Make a copy of this. Control D to duplicate that. Now this is down here. Right down here. And all I need to do, let me scroll down a little bit here. All I need to do now is change the data. Select my chart. Go under design. Select data. This will be row 22 to 31, I believe. Right? To 31, yes. So I'm going to go edit row 22. To 31, click OK, and seat number is going to be the same 22 to 31, click OK, and this is going to change too. This is going to be 22 to 31, click OK, click OK, and now you see we have our table three. Starts with Jay Garrett. Sand Garrett, right? J Garrett, Sand Garrett, and kind of moves around. So now we can call this one Table Three, All right? And we can let's go and get the grid lines away from here. So depending on how many tables you have, you can kind of like make as much as you want. Let's make this. Let's uh, control, and I'm going to use the mouse uh, rolling button to kind of zoom out, and you can see. We have our tables here, and I, oops, control Z to undo that. And we can move this around, right? Let's say, for example, uh, it's going to be table one, two, three, four, five. And that's going to be there. And we have maybe a rectangular kind of room. We want everybody from table one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And maybe f five tables for that row there, another five for this row here. And then you can see how your tables are seated out. So uh, it kind of makes it kind of nicer that way for you to visually see it. Let's get back to 100%. Uh, click on that. And we'll do 100%. Click OK. All right. Let me move this back. So that's the way that we can create a seating chart. Not too many formulas, not too many functions. So really simple and not too hard. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.